Hello, it's me, Rachel, and this is my five-year check-in. I'm just going to go for it. I had a gastric sleeve in 2012 by Dr. Robert Woodbury of Healthy Steps in Santa Rosa, California. Um, I have changed a lot this last year. I'm much more happier. Uh, life is really good. In my last video, I was crying and feeling ashamed and apologizing that I had gained weight. And, uh, you know, whether I gain weight or lose weight, um, I just got to be me. And I don't want to be ashamed of anything anymore. I think I'm doing uh, really good. So I believe the last, last year I weighed 263 or uh, 264. Um, there's a story behind my current weight loss. Um, January of 2017, um, uh, my weight had got all the way up to 279 pounds. Um, you know, you got to get miserable enough um, to change. To change, I was in a lot of pain over my weight. I had found out that I had a hiatal hernia. Um, the hernia is the result of the gastritis that I had before surgery, and surgery did not remove the gastritis. Um, so just recently I did a barium swallow and found out that I have a sliding hernia. You know, um, gained that weight back, and guess what? My sleep apnea machine came back, my CPAP, my blood pressure medication came back. And, you know, you kind of go backwards. Um, and that really threw me for a loop. And that was part of my determination and decision to uh, just get on the wagon again. Um, I, today, I weighed in at 245 pounds. So I'll show you what I look like. Oh, well, there you go. I'm wearing these uh, activity type pants because I'm actually going to go on a short hike in a little while. Um, much slimmer. And much happier. So I plan on doing these um, annual check-ins. Um, I was in an unhealthy relationship all of last year, and I recently ended that a couple months ago. Um, I just want to say to everyone out there, especially women, don't allow yourself to be disrespected. Don't allow for name calling. Um, you know, if you're in a situation that's making you feel bad about yourself and stressing you out, get out of it. It took a lot of courage to leave my relationship, but... Oh, it's the best thing I've done for myself in a long time. I still have my organic garden. Um, I'm a lot more active. I have a Misfit um, fitness tracker. I don't usually wear it on my wrist. I usually wear it on my shoe because it's a lot more accurate. This is the little clip where the actual tracker, um, what am I doing? where the actual little white tracker thing here clips into. But I broke it this morning because I'm just like that. I ordered a replacement for it. Um, I am eating 1,100 calories a day. And I know that sounds harsh, but I'm under the supervision of a nutritionist, and I have been since February. Uh, restricted calorie diets is not something to go in and just try on your own. It requires a balance of protein, carbs, fats, and it needs to be monitored. For me, anyhow, um, I weigh in every week. Uh, I'm eating clean. You know, the smell of fast food just actually makes me sick. I eat a lot of vegetables. I'm doing a low-carb diet, which means under 100 carbs. I'm, you know, I'm not fanatical about it. But very high protein between 60 and 100 grams of protein a day. Try to get in my eight glasses of water. 
But the biggest difference in me is that I'm finally moving my butt. I'm finally moving my body. And that had been the hardest thing to do um, up until now. Um, gosh, um, I really appreciate your guys' questions and input. And I, I got a lot of support after my last video. You know, basically, don't promise that you can do something. But after you do something, tell people about it. Um, you guys are great. Um, I hope that you've followed me over the last five years. Um, don't have a whole lot to say. I will check in next year or maybe before. Bye.